Alexander III had sent Sir Patrick Spence to Norway to bring back his little granddaughter. For his oldest daughter Helen had been married to the young king of Norway. She died to childbirth, leaving behind a little grandchild, who was heir to the Scottish throne. And Alexander was an old man by the time he wanted his grandchild back to become the Queen of Scotland. She would have been, but she died on the way back home from Norway. Oh, the king, he said, send down fair man to He's a drinking a blood red wine. He said, where shall I find a skilly skipper to sail this fine ship of mine? Then up and speaks an old elderly knight, who sit by the king's right knee. He said, Sir Patrick Spence is the finest sailor that ever did sail the sea. So the king he takes his quill in hand, and in a letter he did say, You mon take this to <coughs> Sir Patrick Spence, you mon take it right away. Oh, the first words that Sir Patrick read, a loud laugh laughed he. Then the next words Sir Patrick read, oh, a tear it blinded his ear. He said, what's gone and done the thing? Thou us tell the king on me that I'm on sale through storm and gale, that I'm on gang to Norway. But I'll go, my lord, I will sail my king, I'll go right through the field. I shall make my way to Norway, and I'll bring young Margaret home. So he sailed away from Burnt Island to He sailed right through the fame, for he was bound for Norway. Just to bring young Margaret him, but he had not been in Norway. Oh, a week no scarcely three, when the highest lords in the king's court did turn around and did say. Oh, those Scottish men, they drink our wines and they spend our gold and they have came to Norway and they brought none of their own. Oh, you leers aloud, cried Sir Patrick Spence, you leers aloud, cried he, there is twenty thousand of gold and silver that I have brought with me. But I'll sail this night, this very night, I'll sail right through the fame. I shall make my way to Scotland, and I'll bring young Margaret him. 
So he sailed away from Norway. He still right to <coughs> the fame, for he was born for Dumfermen Tun, just to bring young Margaret home. But in the third or fourth, he ran into a storm. In the waves around them they did sweep. Now Sir Patrick Spence and his gallant crew lie sleeping in the deep. All the way from Norway to Aberdour, four miles from home, where he sank. <laughs>